guys welcome back to the channel so in today's tutorial i'll be showing you just how to use the darning technique to mend any knit hole that you have just like this one first off is the materials that i'm going to start off with and you pretty much just need a scissor darning egg darning needle and your yarn by the way the gauge is important but you'll see here that my gauge of the yarn that i have is bigger but first off i just want to point out that the hole of the sweater is much bigger than than the darning egg so i had to use a carton and this is a solution that you can do it's very diy just take a piece of carton that is comfortable for you to insert inside your sweater wherever your hole is and it helps you extend the hole you want it to extend because you want it to be comfortable and nice and flat for you to, for you to do a nice clean job and to keep it clean i recommend that if you have these same fussies here cut it off with my scissor i'm just cutting off those little fussies so the hole is nice and clean and comfortable to start working on so it's much more like visible and also those fussies can get in the way once you start stitching so you do not want that there so the first step is to insert the yarn inside your needle i am following the column of the knit i am away from the hole like a 0.5 inches i don't know how much that that is in centimeters i'm gonna insert it right now here and pretty much i'm just inserting my yarn inside the a stitch the hole of the stitch and in that same column i'm just going up a row and inserting it the same way but inside of like those two bangs of like the teeth of the knit stitch and then i go back down inserting my needle again in the first hole that i made but once i insert it inside that hole i move over to the next column so i can start my next ladder stitch and these are pretty much called ladder stitch because they're going to serve as a grid for us to create the duplicate stitch and that's pretty much what the swiss darning technique is you're duplicating the knit stitch so it becomes a very invisible mend that you can't even see in my in my case in this tutorial yes i'm using black on a black sweater but that's because i want to show you how it looks if you want to create an invisible mend and just to point out the mend is not the mend the repair is not very invisible because the gauge of my yarn that i'm using is thicker than the actual sw um, sweater but this was the smallest yarn that was that i was able to find and it does work it looks pretty nice you'll see later on at the end of the tutorial but this also goes to show that if you have a similar gauge yarn similar i'm saying similar <laughs> you can you can use it um by going back to explaining how i'm creating this ladder stitch i am going up and down up and down the columns and then whenever i move over in the bottom that's when i then go up the same column that i moved over to then go back down and that's pretty much what i'm creating here creating this grid so then i can go into the beginning and create a duplicate stitch but that will be later on in this video and just going on as you watch me creating the ladder stitch i am going to upload in this channel a a tutorial showing the same technique but then that one will be using a contrasting thread with a sweater so if the sweater is red i'll use like green yarn so you can see it and this one it's just for you to see an invisible mending and how it would look and i'm sh pretty also just showing the technique on a longer process so this video is like 11 minutes but the actual mending took four hours just something that to keep in mind if you want to mend it but it's so worth it because our clothing is the the longer we keep the keep them the more stories memories they hold so if you're able to repair your clothing and have the time to i recommend it 100 percent. and here by the way i am creating my ladder stitch but i'm not creating a perfect square i'm following the shape of the circle this is something that i personally like to choose it comes down to aesthetic honestly you can create a perfect square over your hole or you can follow a little bit of the shape and that's what I did here. And then, as you can see, my thread finished off. So I left a long tail and then I refilled my my um, needle and continue on. This is something that you can also do if your hole is very big. So you want your tails to be out and just pull it a little bit. You don't want the tension to be too thick. Next off, we're going to create the knit stitch. So that's pretty simple. In, in a column next to the ladder stitch, I'm going to insert it inside the hole. 
and then you see like those little teeth i inserted inserted leaving a tail so then later on once we're done duplicating the stitch the filling the hole you'll you'll be able to sew those little tails in the back but pretty much i'm inserting the needle inside one of the knit stitches and then i'm going to go in the back of the ladder stitch just like this and something just like this and then something that you can do because it is the same color thread and you can take your your needle and use it as a reference guide for you to make sure that you're inserting it in the same Shh, I'm, I'm recording a tutorial um so you can so you can use your needle as a form of reference so you can make sure that you're following the right ladder stitch and then you insert it in the back and then you go from the back to the front inserting it back in the same hole that you came from and to insert it you're gonna insert it inside the the column and it's gonna look like these two little sh shrinks from your needle as you can see here so then once i insert it inside the the ladder i go back and insert my needle inside the hole where i began and there you have your knit stitch from there on you move over to the next ladder and you pretty much just do the same step over and over again if if you come into like a column that you might not be able to see again because if, if it is the same color it might get difficult that's why i really suggest that you use your needle as like a reference point to see the threads that you're going to insert and then i continue on creating my knit stitches until reaching the end of the row and then once i reach the row you're supposed to okay this is something that i, I myself have to work on and i want to practice and then i want to practice but you're supposed to like insert it into the, like the next row and duplicate the stitch like recreate the knit stitch um but something that i found that's very helpful is just like i just do a running stitch um and then i move my my carton because to make it more comfortable to create the next row and just just how you can see here like i just did almost like a running stitch once i have like contrasting thread then it will be visible but i don't know how much it would affect it maybe if you guys are watching this video and have more experience you can write it in the comments it really helps the community improve the technique so if you can share your experience and maybe like how to create that stitch at the end that would be awesome next so then to create the next row i just move over the the carton so it can be more comfortable and i insert the needle inside the loop of the first knit so that's very important i inserted inside the loop here of the knit stitch to to create the next row and then i go in the back of that row and go back inside that hole to and then move over the next row just repeat this technique you go inside the hole of the the stitch and then you go behind the column you move over to the next column you go behind insert it back inside the hole you have to make 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 sure you're inserting inside the loop before you move over and you continue this until reaching pretty much the end of your hole of mending it and i continue this until reaching the end so i'm going to put some nice background music and then i'll be back with the voiceover to talk to you guys <music>
okay so i'm back because i just want to show you when you do it the correct way this is exactly how you want it to look you see how i'm pulling the rows and the stitch is looking like i as if i knitted that's the magic of this repair technique so just wanted to say that and now we've reached the end <laughs> so i'm reaching the last stitches of my repair and now it's just to clean it off all those tails are from like having to refill my needle i just sewed it in the back did a few loop stitches and then cut it it's left nice and clean it's a beautiful mending that i recommend you try it seems difficult but it's not it's pretty easy and it's beautiful it looks exactly as if you knitted and i Re totally recommend it because it doesn't look like it had a hole there it looks like you just like hand knitted it pretty much looks like that like you hand knitted so yeah all done totally recommend it i hope you guys enjoy it please give it a like give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel